So, Tubby, I heard that with uh, TrueNAS Scale, it's a bit of a pain in the butthole to install tail scale and get it up and running. Is that... I, but I it hear has been. things have been improved. Things things have changed dramatically for the better. Um, the folks that maintain the TrueCharts app catalog for TrueNAS Scale released a tail scale app. I guess one of the one of the people that was working on it or working on a guide pinged me in the TrueNAS Discord and said that I'd I'd want to check this out, and I said. This is exciting, and I wonder how well it's going to work. And I installed it. I followed their little they the little guide that they wrote, and I had it working. And it was very easy to get it to get it up and working. You know, there's a, I guess the 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 most confusing part is that there's their own little UI form that you've got to fill out. Yeah, this reminds me a lot of the plugin for. And mine might be out of date for all I know. For Home Assistant, has a lot of these same boxes to fill in. Yeah, I bet you they're. I bet you they're pretty similar. And it looks like you have to get the auth key. They won't give you a QR code or something. No, or the they URL won't. Yeah, yeah, to... yeah. That's fine. That's not a. This is the way you should do it anyway. Yeah, I was ecstatic when it first came around because what I've been doing for a long time is using the tail scale subnet route and just routing from my from my open wrt router routing the ip of my nas but the problem with that is a very tiny subnet of one yeah a very tiny subnet of one and the problem with that is i can't you can't share subnet routes so you know if i wanted to make you a a share a samba share or something you wouldn't be able to hit it i couldn't i couldn't share that with you but that's, or if you had Nextcloud installed as an app, I couldn't hit that. Either, no, probably, yeah, that right? was that was the the big disappointing factor when I initially got TrueNAS Scale and learned about the limitations that I was going to have on Tail Scale. And on in that same vein, uh, I was talking to a guy on the TrueNAS Discord server who's got the the Tail Scale client running on TrueNAS Core, so the the other TrueNAS product, the, the FreeBSD-based free one. TrueNAS. He's got it running inside a jail, but he's still having to run it as a subnet route. He's still he's still having to use the TailScale subnet router to access his you know anything that's on his his actual NAS, which is a bit of which is a you know a bit of a bummer. You can't you can't share, you can't share that with anybody. But back. This is a more than a year ago when I tried to do it. I couldn't even get the tail scale binaries to run on the true NAS core. So that's a that's positive also. The little GUI looks like they've done a good job. They've got a very generic uh, extra arguments yep. field. So you could any tail scale option you could put yeah. in here. And I actually I actually wound up I think I even made a suggestion. I I wound up passing the my own host name for that because it uses the name of the container and oh that's, yeah and you don't want that's that tail skin it it doesn't make any sense so yeah, yeah. i i passed it true nez as my host name so yeah i can just i've renamed a few of my machines in the admin console and that works for dns and yes it doesn't matter it does. what this says yeah once remember it's which established machine, like, oh i know what i did my pick and place machine, that's still my laptop that calls itself laptop. And I just okay. I made it Lumen PNP Lumen. up in tail scale. Because I, I don't care what it says over here. I only I only want to be able to SSH into it without knowing the numbers. Yeah, back when I had three different Pi KVMs here at the house, I had to go in and rename I had to rename them because you know it was just Pi KVM dash one, Pi K or Pi KVM, Pi KVM dash two and Pi KVM dash three, and I was like, yep. I don't know what any of those are. Which one's the real one? Yeah. I'm a little bummed out. This this is kind of off topic, Tubby, but I have two or three micro SD cards in my bag to put in my Pi KVM. One's for Pi KVM, one's just a, a Raspbian image, and I forget what the third one is. But they're all a different tail scale host name. 
Oh, you know, different that's goof. credentials yes. and everything. They're all different. Same pie. Like in my mind, that's my little tail. That's my tail yep. scale machine. But it's three different machines depending on what you plug in there. Interesting. That's a conundrum for. Yeah, I wonder if I could do that better. I wonder how mad it'd get if I put the same, you know, just copied the state files over from one to another to another. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I wonder how how you could solve that. But this is exciting, Tubby, because I can't imagine having a NAS at home in 2019 without being able to VPN directly to it from anywhere in the world. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a huge. I mean, it's a requirement. I mean, we've talked about this before, but, you know, I had said recently that, you know, it, as we go further into the future, tail scale is a deal breaker for me. You know, whatever whatever I'm messing with, if I can't get tail scale working with it, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. It doesn't, nope. I don't want to do subnet routes. I want to try a different product. If that meant, you know, some other NAS distribution or just, going at my own and doing it myself that that would be the way forward for me yep i'm at the point where i don't access any of my personal hardware operating systems anything via you know raw network ports they're all over tail scale and they're all encrypted and That's and i'm fantastic. closing down all my ports that are you know my nas does not advertise any ports on the lan you can't even see it nobody would know it's there that keeps it segregated from all my, you know, my Internet of Things stuff, my PlayStation, my Switch, Nintendo that makes Switch, sense. not Nintendo yeah. Switch. Sometimes you have to say that. The other Switch, yep. But I'm turning into my own little island, and it's, I'm, it's awesome. I'm excited. I like a, a Galapagos, right? A bunch yeah, of little islands. Yeah, lots of little islands, all connected <laughs> by boats or something. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I was not prepared were... for this analogy. We won't talk about it this week, but I I was tempted to, on my new home lab server, I set up a, an NFS share, and I set it up over using TailScale back to my NAS, and I just wanted to take it over to your house. It, the yeah. NFS host is just for backups. So it's like, Pat, take this over to your house so the back the weekly backups can run tonight, and then I'll pick it up tomorrow. Yeah, that's it. As long as we're talking about tail scale, I needed to, I needed to make some uh, adjustments to my Pi C file server over there. It's kind of like Dropbox; it lives behind Brian there. So I just picked it up, brought it home, and booted it up here. And the four people that use it, other than I mean, Brian obviously knew I moved it because he helped me fish the power cord out from behind his little cabinet there. But nobody knew it moved. It was over here for two weeks, and then. I put it back, all the file shares worked, everything just worked. It didn't matter that it was in a different location. Oh, you'll be excited. Oh, I, I hope freed so. Up a, I freed up a spot on my UPS for your Pi. Oh, nice. Next time next time you're over, bring your laptop and we yeah, can power we can it down it and, and move it over. Fantastic. That's a good note to end the episode on there, Tubby. Okay. <laughs> if you if we don't if you don't have anything else to tell us, that was a fun little uh there are a lot of people in the TrueNAS Discord server that are trying to follow. I don't know if it's all the same guide for OpenVPN, mm -hmm. and having all the same problems. I mean, I, I don't understand. I don't understand them, so I usually just kind of scroll on by because I don't understand the problems and I can't help. I can't help fix them. But all the time, I see people come in and say, "Hey, I'm trying to follow this guide, and I can't get OpenVPN to work." And every now and then, I'll just suggest to somebody, "Why don't you go check out? Why don't you go check out Tailscale?" And it's really exciting now, because it's easy. You can drop this, a link with this True Chart. Yeah, with this True Charts app, literally, you can just do it now, and yep. it's it's even easier. And I don't know if I don't. Yeah, know I don't want to say VPNs. that doing it the way you had to do it on TrueNAS before or TrueNAS Scale before. Yep. was as hard as setting up OpenVPN, but it's way more effort than it needed to be. This it, was, new, it was harder than it needed to be, yeah. This new app is fantastic. 